Now let's look at an example. Solve the equation 10 sine of x minus 0.2 equals negative 3. So let's start by working our way in towards the x variable. So 10 sine x minus 0.2 equals minus 3. First thing I'll do is divide by 10. equals minus 0.3. Now I need to get rid of the sign, so I'll take the arc sign of both sides. x minus 0.2 equals arc sine of minus 0.3. Here I'm going to replace the arc sign with its definition, which means I need to split this problem into two parts, the original inverse sign and the supplementary solution. So part one would be x minus 0.2 equals the inverse sign of negative 0.3 plus 2 pi n. And then I have a second solution where x minus 0.2 equals pi minus the inverse sign of negative 0.3 plus 2 pi n. Not to go any further, I need to know what the value is of the inverse sign of negative 0.3. So I pull out my calculator and ask. So I ask for the inverse sign of negative 0.3. And I see that's negative 0 0.3046925654. For my first solution, I need to add this negative 0.2 to that. So I will take 0.2 plus this value. And I will get negative 0 0.10469 So I'm going to remember that number. And then I'm going to go over to the second solution, which is x minus 0 0.2 equals pi minus the inverse sine of negative 0.3. So I'm going to take pi, second, pi, and subtract the inverse sine value. And get 3.446. Now to that 3.446, I need to add the 0.2. So I'll take that and add 0.2. So my initial values for x are negative 0 0.105 and 3.646. Given those two initial values, we can write out the general solutions for our original equation. We see that x is negative 0 0.105 plus revolutions around the circle, or x is 3.646 plus revolutions around the circle. To find the actual answers for this question, which means that all our values for x have to be between 0 and 4 pi inclusive, we go back to our calculator. We start with our initial value of negative 0 0.1046, and we will add 2 pi to get a value that falls within the specified domain, 6.178492. So there's my initial solution when n equals 1. The solution when n equals 0 didn't meet our requirements for the restricted domain. When n equals 1, we have the solution of 6.179, or 178. Now if n equals 2, we'll be adding 4 pi to our initial solution of negative 0 0.105. And since we're adding a negative number to 4 pi, our solution should fall within our restricted domain. So I'm going to add another 2 pi. And 
I get 12 points. 4, 6, 2. Adding another 2 pi, letting n equal 3, would take us outside of our restricted domain. So for the left side of our two-part solution, we have the values 6.178 and 12.462. On the right side, if I let n equal 0, then x equals 3.646, which is between 0 and 4 pi. If I take that value, which I have right here, and add 2 pi, I get 9.929, which is also within the restricted domain. So for n equals 0 and n equals 1, on the right-hand side, I have two solutions, 3.646 and 9.929. Adding another 2 pi would take me outside my restricted domain. So these are the four solutions.